Now, peeps, it looks like Diddy's secret recorded videos is gonna shock so many of us. Don't tell me that. I'm terrified. And this is the main reason why a lot of celebrities are staying mute behind these Diddy charges and those allegations. Tell me. I promise I won't tell anybody. They shook. Now, Ray J came out and made a statement saying, we've all been around him, at least in my era, and have looked up to him. And this situation is super unfortunate, but it's important to learn a lesson right now and ensure the next generation understands how to move differently with transparency and integrity. He said, we've never seen the stuff that's being said and the stuff that people are finding out. Like, I've never been in rooms that people are talking about and I've never knew they existed. And a lot of people in the industry can agree with me on that sense. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Now, the disgraced jail hip hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs alleged freak out parties stunned one street dealer after he saw household name celebrities smashing each other out in the open. Now the dealer said Diddy opened up the door to his former Hamptons mansion while wearing nothing but a robe and brought him through to a back bedroom to make the powder deal. He mentioned weird shit was starting to happen. Celebrity guys piping each other down. There were back bedrooms and it was like the inner sanctum, a straight up dungeon. You see two people you would not think would be hooking up, rappers. That was what shocked me, the dealer explained. He also mentioned there were rappers that I immediately lost respect for and could not take seriously ever again. Now the dealer added that many people at the party, which also included a mix of female rappers and ex-workers, were already high on ketamine and GHB. He said, that was when I got the F out of there, he added. But he did note he did not see Diddy partake in any actual activities at that event. Now, the parties were attended by Jay-Z and Beyonce. The music power couple have been frequent regulars at Diddy's parties. Kanye West. Kanye has been spotted at several of Diddy's events. Kim Kardashian. Often seen at celebrity gatherings, she's been photographed at multiple Diddy's parties. Mary J. Blige, longtime friend and collaborator of Diddy and also another frequent guest at Diddy's parties. Usher, very close friend of Diddy and often present at his freak out parties. Kendall Jenner, a regular at Diddy's parties and his high profile events. Pharrell Williams, another frequent guest and collaborator in music and fashion as well as that baby oil. Janelle Monet, very close to Diddy through her association with Bad Boy Entertainment and also another freak off attendee. French Montana, a subpar Bad Boy artist frequently seen at Diddy's events. And of course, Little Kim the Queen B, another long term associate of Diddy from their bad boy days and also definitely present at those parties. Now, other notable figures from sports, business, and fashion also typically make appearances at his parties, making them high profile star studded events. Now, hence the reason a lot of CEOs are stepping down. They are shook from the backlash that these tapes will show. Now, recently we had the CEO of Nike step down. We also had the CEO of 300 Entertainment, Kevin Lyles. He stepped down as well because they already know with Diddy's indictment, they're going to be exposed for all the dirt they've been doing. Let's not forget Usher and Ashton Kutcher. You already know they are part of the Diddy Diddler gang. Now, according to the federal indictment against Diddy's unsealed this week, Freak offs were an elaborate ex performances that Diddy arranged, directed, beat that meat during, and often electronically recorded the freak offs. According to the indictment, Combs allegedly wielded control over his victims through alcohol, drugs, physical violence, promises of career opportunities, granting and threatening to withhold financial support, and by other coercive means, including supplying them with large amounts of controlled substances. 
Now, numerous people have come forward to accuse Diddy of actual misconduct, including his former protege, Cassie Ventura. Now, Cat Williams did prophesy, man, and say a lot of people are going to be taken down. Now, once this list is actually released, man, all around, it's going to be a lot of celebrities ducking and damn hiding. Now, I'll be sure is back with more details on Kim Porter's death. And this time he is finally revealing more information that you don't want to miss. Now, a few months back, he was keeping everything kind of hush hush. But now that Diddy is locked up, he letting them things go. When Diddy home was raided, he expressed concern for his son, pleading for him to come home. He posted on social media, come home. The door is wide open. You're safe here, son. I love you. Pops, you're a biological. Now for years, I'll be sure has been hinting at the evils of Diddy. He's evil in a way you've never read about. But he was being very subliminal in his approach and not giving us any real concrete information. But ever since that raid in his coma, he took the gloves off. Now being that he was pretty absent from Quincy's life, his son declined the offer and instead wanted to stick by his other pops, Diddy. Now it's hard to say if he was willingly absent from his son's life or if Diddy made sure to keep I'll be sure at bay away from the family. Now I'll be sure has always been adamant about Diddy being involved in Kim's death. The mysterious passing from pneumonia at 47 years old didn't jail with anybody. Now the mortality rate for pneumonia cases are five to 10% and most have it for about 30 days. Now, unless she had the weakest immune system ever, it's hard to believe she passed away so quickly. Now, I'll be sure posted some information about Kim's last words where she texted her friend, he got me, before making her call to 911. Now, check out this dispatch call by the ambulance. Agent 76, rescue 82, cardiac arrest. Agent 76, you're going to get EMS 14. EMS 14, respond with Agent 76 on scene of the cardiac arrest. Now, apparently, Kim Porter attempted to call 911. However, she was unable to speak at the time as Diddy gave her one of them deadly cocktails. Now, her alleged diary entries are being turned into a book, Kim's Lost Words. The fiery diary entries are shocking and claim Diddy not only participated in threesomes and romps with both men and women. Zesty new slayer to feed but that he had a vault of recordings with young male artists. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you York over City. to something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> some- Flavor Camp? Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're gonna go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna- In the 90s, do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like, just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? there to see the lifestyle right and, and i saw it and it was and it was but i don't know if i could indulge and understand what i was even looking at it was it was pretty wild it was, so nobody it was tried to you know some woman didn't come along i didn't say that okay I, I didn't say you, that. <laughs> what i did say is that there were very curious things taking place uh-huh and i didn't necessarily understand it uh so we definitely know by now that Usher is for show on some of them damn videotapes that the feds sees from Diddy's house. Now in the summer of 2022, Al B collapsed and was rushed to the hospital where he fell into a coma that lasted more than two months. The cause of the incident has never actually been revealed. Now his marriage to Kim Porter in 1989 ended in divorce in 1990 and they had Quincy. Now, I'll be sure has always had his doubts about the passing of Kim being pneumonia and has urged law enforcement to reinvestigate her death. I don't trust him. All right. All right. Now, I'll go into more depth on her murder in my last video, which is linked below so y'all can go check it out. Now, the relationship between I'll be sure and his son Quincy has always been estranged. When Quincy was 17, he wrote a letter to his dad saying a letter to my father. He indicated, I've been inspired throughout my life by special circumstances and unique experiences. Foremost, I grew up with a family that injected me with unconditional love and enduring confidence. This is my foundation, the family holidays and celebrations with my maternal lineage, supportive smiles in audiences at school programs, guiding hands to complete homework and special projects in the wee hours of the morning. However, I grew up without my father 
an irreplaceable force and influence that was absent in my life. I watch other kids enjoy the embrace of theirs and I search for a way to reconcile the meaning of my circumstance. Despite my pain, I've imagined a life as a good son with my father. Baseball, playing a school band, church, all of the things that you would expect his son to do, I've done. I stood in front of audiences to receive awards. I heard their applause and praise. But the accolades have been absent the sound of his clapping hands and encouraging words. His voice that I could distinguish in my sleep. Where has he been? Now I reflect on the journey, the pain, the challenges, and the triumphs throughout this song. I'm reconciled as a man, no longer a boy, in verse. Now I know that I'm not alone. Sean Diddy Combs and Quincy Albert, also known as Albie Shore, is my biological father. But Sean Combs, also known as Diddy, has been a father figure in my life for as long as I can remember. Sean Combs is a person who I look up to and appreciate as a father. He is the one who helped mold me into the person I am today, and I will always try to live up to his expectations. He's always been supportive of me, and I will forever love and respect him. As far as my biological father goes, the spitting image is all I have taken from him. Throughout my life, I've always wondered about him. Where was he? What was he doing? And most importantly, was he even thinking about me? The absence of my father has given me a better understanding of what type of man I am going to be. I am grateful for my mom's love, support, guidance, and for her strength. To those who share my plight, know that you have a great future, a destiny. Take the lemons that you are handed and make lemonade. Your journey is in a letter to my father. Now, I'll be sure has some more to get off his chest as he added extra TV. He said 2009 through 2018, y'all said I'll be sure has lost his effing mind and told to go sit down when he stated this verbatim over time. And again, on the day of KP's murder, ignored by law enforcement and clown when he shared what LKP told him out of desperation and warned him to watch his back as well bad things y'all said please somebody get out some medical help he's lost his mind now some more information according to people's magazine and also guys if you follow my channel you know i said this a couple of days ago diddy has officially been placed on watch as he waits his trial in brooklyn y'all know what type of watch i'm talking about so we ain't got to get into that but y'all already if y'all see my previous video I let you guys know already, man, that he was on watch. Now, according to the U.S. Department of Justice, National Institution of Corrections, suicide watch is supervisory precautions taken for inmates that require frequent observations. Now, I might tell you everything, but I definitely won't tell a lie. Y'all already know, man. That's why y'all follow on B, man. I be giving y'all that real deal. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes before it even come out, y'all be like, damn, how this dude be knowing this stuff, man? Hey. It is what it is. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. How do y'all feel about I'll be sure getting his lit back on Diddy for taking his chick? How do y'all feel about that? And also, man, the conditions that Diddy's living in and also Diddy being placed on watch in MDC, Brooklyn. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share these videos. And I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Hollow.